Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Recent financial difficulties faced across the globe have forced companies to take a deeper look at their supply chain efficiency to try to reduce costs and improve speed to market. Well, these companies need a solution that will provide them with an edge over the competition. And joining us to discuss their solutions are Steve Walker, Group Chairman of SBS Worldwide, Lars Klock, CEO of SBS Worldwide, and Kelly Delafave, Regional Vice President of Business Development for SBS Worldwide. Welcome to all of you. Pleasure to be here, Jackie. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Jackie. Steve, we mentioned it briefly, but tell us about the supply chain challenges that businesses face today. Well, I think in my 40 years in shipping, I have never seen such a demand for savings in supply chain as there been since 2008. Mm. I think now we look at the financial and economic state of Europe. If you're looking, for example, at Spain, 50% of their under 25s are unemployed and they're expected to migrate to Northern Europe looking for jobs. And it is our job to help our customers get their products to market where the new disposable income will become. Kelly, can you elaborate on what really created these supply chain challenges? Well, as Steve mentioned, it partly has to do with the current financial climate, but also technologies are allowing companies to extend their global reach. Companies are increasingly selling their products abroad, but also sourcing and manufacturing from more than one origin around the world with multi-factories and multi-vendors. This has added complexity to the supply chain, but also gives us the opportunity to generate savings for them. Hmm. Yeah, it is complicated. So Lars, tell us about SBS Worldwide and how your solutions help address these challenges. Well, we engage with our customers um, to look at their supply chain, the total supply chain. We look at the from product startup when ordering is happening overseas uh, to make sure that they can bring their, uh, the product to the market the fastest way possible and the most cost effective way. We, look, uh, we take a look at, together with our sister company, Virtualize Logistics, where we take what we call the supply chain health check, which is very important uh, to look at, uh, at places where we can drive uh, down costs. We can make sure that they can bring their, uh, their product to the market much more quickly uh, to make sure that they, uh, of course, uh, meet the demand of their end customers. So we actually help our customers win more business and thereby, thereby drive their own growth. Well, let's take a look at some of the solutions SBS Worldwide is providing in this 21st century business field report. Today's businesses face supply chain efficiency challenges and have a need to be flexible, faster, and cost effective so that their products can be sold at a lower rate and have better availability than their competitors. Supply chain management is very important to M-Wave International from supplier selection to source inspection to logistics uh, using SBS Worldwide to incoming inspection once it hits our facility and a variety of stocking programs that we provide to our customers. So supply chain management is very important to our organization. SBS Worldwide solves the problem of transporting and storing products from across the world in the most efficient way possible, taking into account local regulations and customer requirements in order to meet demand. Supply chain software that SBS provides is very valuable to our organization, getting real-time updates of where our product is so we can supply that information back to our customers. SBS Worldwide Solutions make sure products are in the right place at the right time to satisfy demand. M-Wave was able to improve our service to our customers by receiving accurate, reliable, on-time delivery from SBS. SBS Worldwide ensures that all customers' expectations are delivered by providing the highest quality of service appropriate for each market segment, served through their focused business units. I would recommend other companies to use SBS Worldwide for three reasons, on-time delivery, flexibility, and pricing. Steve, can you explain the function of the supply chain in business? Well, the way that we see it, many companies by default end up doing supply chain. They create their product, they then find themselves dealing with the distribution of it on their own territories overseas, and there is a need probably in 2012 to de-risk. That's what we try to encourage them to do. We've created a new company called Virtualized Logistics that rather than just selling freight, actually sells a consultative brand and goes in and evaluates at board level 
which normally our point of contact is normally the shipping manager, the logistics manager. We talk to the board and we actually encourage all members of the board to actually understand the supply chain. It's almost like the fable king uh, without no clothes, you know. <laughs> There's always the, the people that sit there and they really don't fully understand it. They don't understand the costs related to it. And normally the most delighted person to be part of that debate is the finance director. Oh, I normally bet. the CFO is at the end of the supply chain. Normally he's picking up the costs. Um, with he's hardly been part of the debate. We try and engage with all the board so that we can determine what they want to achieve with their product from point of manufacture to where it needs to be in customer. How is the supply chain changing, Lars? Well, it's changing because of the complexity globally, what's going on in the world. We have the euro really being affected right now. It's a decline. They're buying less of our American products. Um, we also see that a lot of the ocean freight carriers and uh, has taken on what the air carriers did some years ago with the Delta and so forth, uh, where they actually cut down on capacity in order to control the pricing. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're seeing happening in the ocean uh, with the ocean carriers now, especially on the import from the Far East. Uh, this year alone we have seen four uh, increases, rate increases on this. As well as here in the United States, we have seen fuel surcharges going up to about 26% huh. um, of the freight charges. So that means that uh, suddenly uh, our customers are facing more uh, cost. Uh, so they need to look at uh, do they want to have a speedboat from China or do they want to have a slow boat from China. <laughs> Good point. Kelly, how have supply chain solution providers had to adapt in order to meet these changes? Firstly, with global supply chain, the flow of information between all parties is very critical. As supply chain solution providers, we've had to develop enterprise systems, tailor-made to specific industries, but to also to our clients. Um, secondly, we're in such a competitive marketplace, so we have to really understand who our clients are, what their needs are, and where their business is headed. This way we can re-engineer the supply chain and offer effective and reliable solutions to them. With this collaborative approach, we're able to help customers improve their supply chain and, and deliver their solutions to their clients and help them become more cost effective and more efficient in what they do. Lars, software seems to be having a major impact on the supply chain. Can you explain the role of systems in the supply chain? We look at a complex world. Uh, we are sourcing from all over the world. Uh, we want to have visibility of where our product is as, at all times. Coming back to what Steve said earlier about the boardroom, he was talking about uh, the CFO and the board. They want to know where all their money is going. I'm sure they that's, do. That's uh, helping with the vis That's what we're offering with the visibility uh, of our system it's called EDC. Kelly, in 10 years, what do you think supply chains will be like? I believe that the supply chain will be smarter in the way that they deal with their customers, but also their supply chain providers. Supply chain will always be about cost containment, reducing risks, um, preventing disruption, and ensuring flow of product and services to market. The supply chain of the future will have that intelligence, and systems will be automated, and their inventories will virtually run themselves. Through business intelligence, they'll be able to prevent the disruptions from occurring, be able to anticipate and to act. So Steve, how do you see SBS Worldwide developing in the future? Well, we've really got to look towards emerging markets, Jackie. We're at this point, we're, we're very strong in the UK and in the USA. We have our uh, operations in Hong Kong and China. I think what we want to try and do is help these economies export. And we've, we've traditionally have done a lot of imports. Now it's going to time to export. And now we're going to look where the countries that have got the money, the Chinese, the Indians. I think I refer to it when you talk about uh, India, and people, you ask people if they want to go to India, are they in India? You get this sucking of air through teeth, and they go, I'd like to go to India. How can, how can we do it? And we, we have actually got the infrastructure, we have got the software to enable people to look on computer screen, see their stock, be it, it could be in Mumbai, could it be in Bangalore, could it be in Shanghai? And if those companies can sell their product, we can deliver it to those markets. That's where I hope we can bring greater value to our customers. Well, Lars, Kelly, and Steve, this has been a very interesting conversation. Thanks for being here to share your solutions with us. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. It was very exciting to be here today.